Yo, what is good, fam? Welcome to episode 57, Speaking of Which Podcast. My man's John in the building. Yeah, sir. It's your boy Aaron man speaking. Aaron here with me. Episode 57, Speaking of Which Podcast. You can catch us on YouTube, Spotify, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Yo. man. Yo. Follow us on all those accounts. Yo. Um be sure to check us out every week. If you missed last week's episode, it was a very good one. Mm-hmm. So catch up on that and then get back to here, all right? Um, what we got for today, bro? We got some interesting topics, my boy. We're going to talk about the state of hip-hop. We're going to talk about... Yeet! Travis Scott's rollout. The an- We're going to talk about anniversaries and how we might think they're milking the artists and whatnot. Yep, yep, and yep. hot takes. So... Also, like the video, stop playing, man. Hold it down. We appreciate y'all. Subscribe, know that. Stop playing. So, my man's told me that he saw somebody say that hip hop was, was what's what's going on there, man. Yeah, like a in a transitional period. Um, mm. Specifically, earn your leisure. The podcast. It's like a financial uh, podcast, mm-hmm. you know, by minorities, and you know, I like to watch them just to get on game, you know, in the financial space. But they they love hip hop. That's and hard. they were talking about how hip hop currently for them is in like a transitional period or just missing something mm. and or dead. <laughs> so interesting. I found that interesting because with us, you know, we really see everything, you know, for for what it is, like face value in yeah. the game. Like we actually are in it and we, we couldn't agree or disagree anymore. Mm. So I just thought it was interesting because we also got a take last week saying that hip hop is like dead right now. Where um, I mean, I, heard, I, I think I somebody said un- the underground was dead. I think somebody oh, said specifically. the underground. But okay. I mean, I guess when it comes to like mainstream hip hop, I feel like for us, w- in terms of mainstream hip hop, what do you really listen to like that every day? Do you know? Mainstream hip hop. Yeah. Cause like, I don't really care too much about like the hottest singles in the world. You know, I gotta listen to what's hot. Like, I never really care for that. Yeah, you rarely you know? catch us listening to the radio. So, or not even just radio. It could be digitally. You know, yeah, like I mean, what's hot section on? You know, yeah, rap I, caviar. It's shit. probably Drake or a little bit of Dirk, maybe. But it's, it's crazy really how Dirk is considered mainstream. To me, I still find that wild. Wow. Yeah, you've been rocking with him <laughs> since like 2013, time. boy. 2012, shit, senior year of high school. But yeah, that's. But yeah, that's why I say that because it's like I don't really know because we listen to a lot of shit that the casual fan may not like. Right, right. So I don't really know if we're from the outside looking in what a casual fan think that hip hop is whack now or trash. I or? think I think from their perspective, Earn Your Leisure's perspective, they're a little older, so they were around uh, a lot more for the Fifty Cent era, the Dipset era, and just like stuff like that. Jay Z. Um, yeah. Stuff yeah. like that. I think they're looking for a new, like, icon in the game. You know what I'm saying? A new Drake, a new 50, a new... Just break down a door going crazy. Like a new Kendrick. I feel like they're looking for that new era from a specific artist, and, mm. you know, they're just not getting it, I guess. Huh. I mean, as soon as you said that, I thought of, like, Griselda and Benny and those boys. I mean, if they were into that, I think that was, like... You know, yeah. for that style of music to go mainstream is pretty impressive. Yeah, right. um, but are they mainstream? Yeah, hell yeah. You think so? Because I don't. I I would consider them mainstream if I heard them on Hot ninety seven every day. You know what I'm saying? But they're I, definitely mainstream. Interesting. Sure. Yeah, hell yeah, man. Definitely. I mean, I, they, I would d- respectfully disagree, but I think what they're looking for is, like I said, like that next icon to come out, and I, I feel like for them. They their time is is up. You know Ooh. what I'm saying? They earn their earn their leisures. Like the older heads uh-huh. looking for somebody like a Jay Z or a fifty to you know, that that type of artist to come up in the game. I think that those days are over with. Like I think I think we're gonna get more melodic guys like Drake. We're gonna get, you know, mm. people that can do multifaceted things. It's not all about bars these days, you know? Mm. I don't know, man. Cause Shit, that's interesting. The state of hip hop. I think the way hip hop is now, maybe it, I think, I guess mainstream wise, is this the females, bro. Females run that shit right now. Mm, that like is the a past fact. year and a half. Ice what Spice. are the females rocking with? Ice Spice. Like the mo- look at Summer Jam this year. It's all females. All females. Except Lola I Brooke. think the locks 
and maybe two other, maybe Fabio. Fabio, I think, yeah. But literally, there's like seven females on that shit. I think it's Glorilla, Ice Spice, Koi. Cardi B. Koi like, Ray, yeah. Right now, I think the state of hip-hop is ran by the, the girls, bro. I'm yeah. not a fan. But I'm not a fan either. Um, even though You got to give them their credit. Right now, they're killing shit, bro. Nikki's I, still, you know, that Ice Spice little... I, I love Ice Spice. Yeah. But as far as, like, her being that artist to that probably be is the, the artist that yeah right now in terms of popularity that broke through the doors it has to be her since cardi b really she just got a song with taylor swift bro that's Word? a that's a hell of a look i didn't know that taylor swift is the if you know maybe top two three biggest yeah. in the world bro mm. like she's up there with bts and korea and shit and like bad bunny and you know mm. she's been there before them so ice spice getting that look you know ice spice seems to be that next like icon to come out it seems it's crazy to say because just a year ago y'all was clowning her crazy <laughs> i mean i guess yeah i mean I, I i get what they're coming from in terms like the early 2000s had a lot of big names you know i guess new i guess um, like the G units and shit like that, the upsets. Yo, that. all I'm gonna say is look out for somebody who's your favorite, one of your favorites, DC the Don. That's my guy. I feel man. like he has a lot of mainstream potential. Great. I'm still, um, I'm still confused as to why he hasn't reached that next shit because the sound is great. You know what it is? I'm assuming it's because he doesn't want to give up. He doesn't want to give up his rights. Uh, what a lot of people, uh, what a lot of artists do is give up their rights of these songs, their masters and all that, yeah. their publishing to get that big look by a label you know what i'm saying mm. to get who's he signed to i know he has that life and friends as that, that a label that i would say they're more so like, like a, a, a like tour like an agency ah uh, i'm not too but, sure who dc signed to but his music i'm telling y'all it's that it album is super mainstream appeal yeah like very pop sounding pop. Very, you know, easy on the listeners' ears. It's nice. I can hear music. a bunch of suburban little girls bumping this. Shit, you know <laughs> yeah, what I'm yeah, it's just good sounding. Like if you hear that, and then you hear like if looks could kill, for example, that is not a mainstream sound. You know, very not niche, very grungy, very. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, I'm the legend. But you know, so yeah, yeah man, that's interesting though. Hip hop. Any other artists you think can be on like that? So Fago tier. So Fago, he wow. Has potential, yeah, for sure, man. So I think Fago. so. Especially yeah, he has yeah, the tribe right. on his back. You're right. His you know. last album was definitely a mainstream attempt. He tried, you know. I mean, Travis barely promoted it, but, you know, that's another story. Let us know <laughs> who Joe you guys Kenji think. Joe Kenji has that appeal. Joe, Joe Kenji. Yo, Joe, Joe Kenji does have that you appeal. Know, I could definitely. And shout out to whoever he signed to. I'm not too sure. But Internet money. Bro. I don't want to say he's an industry plan, but I've never seen a, a artist that was, nobody knew have like four vinyl records. Yo, we was, that in, was, crazy we was in the me. mall, right? And we yeah, saw Joe Kenji like vinyls. Of them. I'm like, <laughs> yo, nah, his marketing team, whoever, they they pay for his placements, bro. Big for time. For sure, for sure. To get on the playlist. Shout out to Taz his Taylor. His music videos are super high budget. Yeah. So, yeah. But the music's good, though. So it's like. It's, a, it's just the. The majority of people have to catch on at this point. Jaleel got to get a vinyl. Stop playing with it. Let us know who you think is that next person, bro. Because people think that hip-hop is trash and right speaking now. Speaking of new artists, man. Yeet. Derek Yeeter. Yeet. Can you guys believe? I f yo, I found this. Not that I found this out, but somebody brought this up to me the other day, and I was shocked. I was like, yo, you're, you're kind of right. My man's has no music videos for his latest project, Afterlife. Not one. He's not doing one that Cardi music shit. video, bro. <laughs> I thought about it. I'm like, yo, he's actually right. It's been since February that shit dropped. Not one video. You telling me he could, he shouldn't have dropped a music video for uh, Sp uh, Split, it's called, right? Mm. I want Billy, I want money. Why wouldn't you make a music video to that? Yep. Like, how much really do you think a music video benefits a song a lot it just gives it the aesthetic and the look that you know that's associated with that yeah. song i think it's because he's on tour maybe that's not an excuse but mm. uh or he was on tour like that that just wasn't his priority maybe or things just didn't work out because sometimes people shoot videos and they, 
it does doesn't come out. They don't like it. Yeah, you know? but there's what like twenty four. How many songs are on that shit? Like twenty six. <laughs> no way. Let me see. You tell him he couldn't make a no more. Uh, what's the what's the first song name? That song is so hard. No more talk. That should have had a music video. That better off should have had a music video. Uh, I like how it go. Depends. Rave, rave. That would have been cool. That would have. I like tight money. That shit's mm-hmm. hard as fuck. Slam, whatever, bro. Schmunk with young boy. That that would do numbers. But you know, number a uh, number. You, you know, young boy can't come out his house. It's just crazy. Or how about a look? Uh, this shit music video. Yeah. Imagine that though, like yeah. that shit, yo. Why not, bro? At least Die Lit had one music video. <laughs> I think it's interesting too that RP. Yeet doesn't really post his most recent music videos on his own channel. I think that's interesting because he's had Lyrical Lemonade post. Mm. And even like Turban is on Dotcom Nirvana's channel and shit. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. He don't really, he hasn't dropped a music video on his own channel since On The Line like a year and a half ago. <laughs> That's great. I'm yeah. surprised he hasn't had a. I'm now that I think about it, there was no talk music video. Yeeka, no sir. flawless, flawless. No out the oh, out the way. Yeah, there is one, but uh, cause Cole Bennett did that shit, which I think that video could have been better. It, it's Bennett the one where he's like yeah, zoomed that, out. It's the same shit. It looks it was, like a visual. It was a it was like a passion project. They wanted to try some shit. I thought it was a, it was cool for what it was. Yeah, it was I. Right. It definitely could have been a mad lot 3D animation and shit. Yeah, but yeah. uh, popping went crazy. Yeah, um, does he have to have a music video, though? Does he need it? Probably not. <laughs> no, right? Probably not, but hey. It would be nice. That would be cool as hell, you know? You know, something to go along with the, a second of the album would exactly. be fire. Yeah. yeah, or how about a whole X-Ray style music video? Stop playing with that's him. the album cover, bro. How hard would that be? A no I'll more talk again. music video. I'll say it again. That... Skeletal shit. I'm about to make my own music That's video. That's Flapper Zombies. Shit. Flapper Zombies did it first. I might make my own music video to a Yee track just on some fun shit. You should, bro. That'll be hard. That'll be hard. Stop playing, man. But yeah, man. We shout out tonight. Yee. Pool party. Shout out Yee. <laughs> Speak, uh, speaking of albums, though, my man's from Cactus Jack. Straight up. Travis Scott. Utopia. I don't know if this is the cover for it, but did you see? It's like an orange background and it has the Utopia logo. I hope that's not the album cover. That shit is garbage. I hope that's just the logo for Utopia, <laughs> yeah. but not the actual album. Because in my opinion, Travis has some of the best album covers, period. Super iconic, every single one of them. And it t- kind of determines how the album is going to be and how iconic. Album what covers, we, we said it. this before, super important. But I, the rollout, though, I don't know if you've seen this whole... Uh, People, what is it? You could type whatever you want. He has like a different pose. Oh, yes. That's yes. random as hell. It doesn't do anything. It's just an extent. Basically, you can just type thing. like your name in Travis Scott. Exactly. It's That's so pretty. weird. Like You should see the way. But see. I've seen that years ago. Honestly. Yeah? yeah? Who did that? Uh, well, it was Travis Scott. I, I've seen that years ago. Look what I did. Suck my t- <laughs> <laughs> But he has this thing going on with like a briefcase where he has that person you know, it's like hand security here. Yeah. But he I, he's been doing that with the features of people. You mm, didn't see that? No. Yeah, I forgot who it was, but whoever was on the album, he'll have a there will be a paparazzi picture of them with the briefcase. So like You know who has the briefcase right now? Mike Dean, boy. Mike Dean. That yeah, boy tweeted out, I got the briefcase. Mike Dean knows what he's doing, man. I can't wait to hear some guitar solos on that shit. Um as far as the rollout goes, it's taking a really long time, bro. Yeah, I mean that whole we're, tragedy we're really two, three years deleted. late. It, the tragedy, bro. <laughs> He's been rolling this shit out since those two songs he dropped. Remember with the music video in his car, Escape oh, Plan, right? Oh yeah, Escape Plan, yeah. He's been trying to roll out the album since then, so I can't wait for actually. It to drop, I think bro. before that, bro. I think since the pandemic. I ain't gonna lie to you. With this, with the franchise record, um, with Future and I forgot who else was on there. Um, I would love. I still want to. Uh, the Scott's collab project. True. I think Kid Cudi said it recently on his project, saying, "Oh, we working on it or some shit like that." Still, I don't believe none. Of it. I don't believe none. He says either, but I fuck with Cudi still, man. Cudi, you cut off for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> nah. nah, but yeah, that's another thing too. Cudi dropped like a recent uh, 
snippet or I don't know, and then he deleted it or some shit. Uh, I'm not sure. He pump faking. I think he pump faking. I think I think this rollout is taking a long time. It it reminds me. I said I think it it's earlier. It's been working though recently. Recently, it's, it's been working. How long has the Spider Verse rollout been right now? It's just as long as the Travis Scott shit, bro. We got a whole Spider Verse Jordan collab, Metro Boomin Word. collab, Burger King. You would think the movie's out. I'm like, yo. <laughs> that marketing going crazy. <laughs> like, damn, drop that. Yo, that shit better be first week numbers for that shit. What, for Utopia? No, oh, I'm saying oh, for, for the Spider Verse. Shit? That shit better be bunking. Yo. The amount of money they put into it. Oh, bro. it's definitely going to go crazy. We watching it? It was good. I'll watch it. Yeah, I'm with it. You don't even, I bet you never even seen the first one. Of course I've seen the first one. Mary Jane, bro. Whatever the name snow. is. No, I'm talking about the animated one. Oh, the, the animated Spider-Man. with Coyle Ray on the track list? Coyle Ray's on it? Yeah, with Sunflower on there. World. Sunflower, yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. But in terms of albums, though, so Goodbye and Good Riddance, R.P. Juice World, man. They just dropped a five-year anniversary, even a vinyl as well. They changed the cover, but the disc is still black trash. <laughs> It should have at least made it, like, blue or some shit. Damn. That shit gets me tight. Like, come on. How are you going to make me spend 40 beans on this shit? I already have it. Add like, some uh, color. Yeah. Like, throw a little food coloring on it. So, but anyways, yeah, they added, like, three new songs on there, digitally and on the vinyl as well. How do you feel about that, bro? They're Just, new songs that haven't been, like, leaked before? I'm sure they were leaked, but... You know, the Juice I, World community is everything leaks. I'm over it, bro. They're definitely new songs. I'm over the po- posthumous albums. Like, Tyler, the creator, put in his contract. Oh, I saw No, but you didn't see the clip that he said that? No. Yeah, a, at a concert, he was like, yo, when I fucking die, don't make no fucking new albums. Bro. Oh, Please. shit, yeah. I don't want that I, shit. He he spoke about it. He had, a, like, a sit-down that in his contract, like, he he does he's not allowing no posthumous albums. And I think it should be like that. <laughs> You know, if you feel that way for majority, because the quality just goes down crazy. You never know what the artist would have wanted, bro. Unless it's and like super too. finished. Unless, yeah. <coughs> unless it's pretty much done and then God forbid they pass. I think that's fine. Yeah. Like, for example, I think Legends Never Die was great. It sounded cohesive, complete, except like two of the, the like snip, not snippets, interludes. Mm. There was one called Juice World Speaks from Heaven, corny. Corny, that was corny as fuck. Oh yeah, it's yeah. like it's unnecessary. Like a first listen, it's sad, it's nice, but like I'm never gonna bump that again. Yeah, ever. But I thought I thought that project was great. They did a great job with the music video for Righteous. That show was sad as hell. That was a good project. But then Fighting that Demons, great. that shit ruined it for me, man. Like I, that shit gets me tight. There's like four songs that I actually really like on there, but then they added Legends and Rich and Blind on there. Three weeks do you after think the that, family? Do you think the family has anything to do with it? Are they okaying this, or is this strictly family? the label? Because the, they, they don't have, got no say in that yeah, shit. Yeah, they do. do. They have his estate in his, in his name. Mm. They have his estate, so like they have to approve sh- certain shit. But I think what it is is that he signed like a ten late uh ten album deal. Ten album deal? That's or, crazy. That's what people be signing, bro. That's crazy. And the label's trying to finish that deal. You know. I think that's what it is. I mean, Labels the, trying to get this bread. The album is a, obviously a classic, right? So do you feel like if they released a posthumous version like they just did with new songs, does that ruin the original project? You know it doesn't mean? ruin it. Um, it just comes off a certain way, mm. in my opinion. I know you're trying to celebrate it, but That's the on. thing. There you go. Hold on. That's the thing. I said that in one of my live streams. It's like, for me personally, I'm a big Juice World fan, so I that's cool. Like, You know, you're honoring a classic album. It's five years. Give the fans a little something. Because obviously, you know, he passed away. So some people might want some new stuff. But at the same time, it's like, damn, like, you kind of don't mess with something that's already good. You know? Why are you adding songs? Do you want the new songs? Do I want it? Do you want them? Hell no. I I don't mind this new project that's supposed to come out, The Party Never Ends. That has to be it. That has to be the last thing. Be- only because Bibby said that there's no sad songs on that project. He said, yeah, I don't right. want I just want to celebrate. And Party Never Ends was supposed to be, be. Fighting Demons, correct. 
But yeah, they ruined. They fucked that whole shit up. He said all the fans ruined it because they kept leaking shit, blah blah. So we had At to this point, it. like you can't be mad with the leaks, bro. Just drop the shit. Exactly. But I, that project, I'm kind of looking forward to. If it's like hype juice world, like we saw the freestyle. <laughs> Damn, if it's shit like that, bro, I don't mind that for me, cause I I fuck with Juice World. You know, we we heard enough sad shit in my opinion. Yeah, I want to celebrate him. Like, yeah. I want to like. So the mosh. party never ends sounds like a cool title for that style, you know. Right. But they actually did the same thing with X's uh, question mark project. They did a five year anniversary merch drop. Um, I think they re released the vinyl and all that. I mean, I don't know. It's like cool, but. It, you think that that's considered milking for sure? Like that's the thing. It's like a gray area. Like they're probably gonna do the same shit with Pop Smoke. Twenty twenty five, shoot for the stars. Ain't let for us the moon. let us like forget about them for a time period. Like do a ten year anniversary. Like they're definitely gonna do the same thing for Death Race for Love though. You know it's coming. It's gonna know. come next year. Twenty twenty four is the five year anniversary. Who of Death are they Race trying to appeal to though with the new songs? Like aren't like. Juice World fans, I mean. You think so? Yeah. That ain't, yeah, it ain't going on the radio. I guess what I mean is, like, people who were there from the beginning with Juice, like, is it for them or is it for people that didn't really recognize him until he was gone, you know? Mm, I get what you're saying. Like, the newer fans? Yeah. I don't know, man. Because there's people that didn't care about him until he died. You know how many posthumous albums Tupac has? Do you, Probably do remasters, you, no? Nah, those are the actual albums. Do you know? Like, do you, I'm going to show you, bro. I actually looked it up the other day, and I'm like, yo, there's a 2006 Tupac album with Nipsey Hussle on it. Oh, wow. Hold on. You got to see this shit, bro. I was like, yo, you want to talk about <laughs> milking? Tupac got that shit. <laughs> the last bit of the cow, fam. Yeah. Let's see how many albums he had. By the way, I think he only had three while he was alive. Just, just to... Yeah, he had three while he was alive, and then All Eyes on Me came out a, a month after he passed. Look at these posthumous shits, bro. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six posthumous albums. Are there greatest hits and stuff like that? The only one that's greatest hits. Nah. One, two, nah. <laughs> these are all actual albums. Yeah. There was a greatest hits from in nineteen ninety eight, but that's separate. These are his actual studio albums. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, boy. Yeah. Can you imagine they did that with Juice World? Hell nah. I mean they kinda are. They were halfway there. <laughs> they were halfway and you saw there, that the bro. Pop Smokes, I think it was his manager or his boy, that a fan DM'd him. Like, yo, where the fuck new music at? You ain't see yeah, that, that no screenshot? He's music. like, My man's. Pop Smoke was out here for what eight months, bro. How many songs do you think he did? Unfortunately, there's no more new Pop Smoke music. That's what he said. And we don't need it. We don't. We don't. We t- <laughs> like. I love Pop Smoke, but that Faith album they ruined that shit. Why would they? The thing that got me tight. Why release that so quick? You couldn't. If that was all he had left, that's my point. If that's all you got left, why drop it so fast? Can't wait five, ten years from now. Yo, I got a surprise for y'all. You know what I mean? There you go, bro. I guess when the fire, the money, fire money. is still kind of lit, drop it now, right? Throw it in there. Maybe nobody would care in ten years. Is that why? Maybe. She gets me tight, bro. His brother should start rapping. His nah. brother? Oh, he sounds like him, right? He does. He Just is. have some AI. We don't need him no more. We don't need his brother. We got AI. AI juice. Right? <laughs> we already had the AI Drake in um weekend. That shit was hard. Oh, speaking of the weekend though. Did you hear that snippet with Cardi? I did. Boy, that shit sounds fire. Yeah. I wish I was there, wherever that was. <laughs> He's like, that sounds like <laughs> that sounds like Cardi's new earthquake. Mm. That's my take on that. You know how there's like a random big popular song that, oh shit, Cardi's on that? Song. Yeah. Not to make it like dark. I never but thought he'd be on that type of beat. Yeah, not to make it dark, but you know how the weekend always is well, associated with, with the devil shit. Same Imagine shit. he brought Cardi on tour with him. Like, come here, my devil twin. <laughs> Damn, that would be hard. That would be hard. Like, open Cardi up to a whole new fan base. Mad fucking. That would be hard to hear a, a, a boom bap style. I mean, he tried that with that Lil Wayne track, right? Mm-hmm. So yeah. he def- I can't wait to hear that new Cardi project. I ain't going to lie to you. <laughs> Whatever yeah. Cardi's dropping, bro. I'm eating it up. Pause. I just beat <laughs> Fuck out of the, the weekend. And when are we ever gonna get a Cardi 
Homicide Gang, Ken Carson, Destroy Lonely Soul. Imagine that. All of them on some one blood shit. I've been trying to say this for a year, Yo, can you imagine that? Opium one blood remix. I'm fucking weak. No, I'm so hood. Yo, that'll be hard, boy. Cardi on I'm so hood. Stop. (laughs) Oh, man. But yeah, man. Want to answer these hot takes, cuz? Hot takes. Let's see what y'all got to say, Uh, man. man. Yo, shout out to y'all for commenting on the Instagram. Follow us, speaking of which pod, man, over on Instagram. And a lot of people hit us up like, oh, where where, where do these takes go? Like, I never see you guys post a hot take. On Instagram. Yo, go on on our Instagram right now and put on push notifications. Stop Stop playing. All right, so the first take of the day. Shout out 1111. You going crazy, bro. The GOAT. Let's start here is mad overrated. Shoulder shrug. Maybe it's just not for me, but I haven't played it since it dropped. It probably is just not for you. I would say that. Yo, on the way here last weekend, right, we were singing our our oh, hearts yeah. out to say, say some- something. Yo. <laughs> And that our homegirl Jackie was like, who is this? I'm like, it's little Yachty. Yo, I'm Stop telling playing. you, bro. I showed it to my cousin. My cousin don't like rap like that at all. He listens to more jazzy style stuff, maybe some R&B, Mac Miller, like very calm shit. Right, right. So I was like, yo, bro, you got to listen to this new Lil Yachty. Probably. He's like, <laughs> Lil Yachty, like, that's the dude oh. that made uh, Minnesota or whatever. I was like, bro, trust me, bro. I put it in the car, bro. I play pretty and say something. He was like, Ooh. that part of the I need your love. Yeah. He's like, yo, all right, I gotta, I'm gonna download this. I'm gonna click add. Yeah, I was like, yeah, up. I put them on, bro. So yeah, it probably isn't for you, kid. No, to tell I would, you, if I were to compare it for you, um, think about like Santana, like the the instrumentalist. Uh, think about. Pink Floyd, uh, the guy with the afro. Why am I drawing a blank with the guitar? The guy with the Jimi afro. Hendrix. Jimi Hendrix. Like, think of that vibe for Yachty. Like, he really stepped out to a, uh, electronic rock. It's just, alternative I don't know rock. what it is, but that shit crazy. Alternative psychedelic. Rock. <laughs> right, psychedelic rock. That like, he shit. totally nailed it. Yeah. He totally nailed it. So, I don't know. Maybe it is just not for you, my friend. Yeah, man. Yeah. My man said, Jersey Club Beats weirdly p- passed Plug and B when it came to going mainstream. Even Bad Bunny tried it, too. Oh, That's true. Did you hear Bad the latest Bunny. Bad Bunny? <laughs> did you hear the latest I Bad Bunny did. track? We played it last week. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nah, car. yo, that's a crazy take because it's very true, bro. That whole, that, that whole Jersey shit. And a topic we were going to talk about is how Plug and B came and went. So this is perfect. Mm. Um, Jersey Drill... I feel like it's a it's a moment in time, like for this summer. Even Jaleel capitalized on it with Confetti Chow yeah. Lee. I think it's a moment in time for right now. You don't um, think it's gonna last that long? Nah. It's just this summer. Type shit. Yeah. Cause drilling itself has been well, sample drill has been pretty hot since like pandemic. Yeah. With like Be Love, K Flock, all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah for now sure. it's on to like. Oh, we can dance to this shit like in a calm environment. We're not saying gra gra boom. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can shake our hips, dance with girls. I feel like that part of it is probably gonna start dying out once it gets cold and shit. Mm. Hopefully not though. Like shout out Chow, shout out everybody a part of the new wave yeah. of of this drill in general. Like I hope it does last. But would you consider that uh, zero track that style? Yeah, for sure. By Patek. Yeah. 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 That shit hard. Yeah. Okay, okay. Good take. Ken Carson should have been on the Barbie movie soundtrack. Because, <laughs> you know, before yeah. he blew up, he was on his, like, Barbie shit. Like, right. I'm Ken. <laughs> I'm Ken. Yeah. Uh, nah, I don't know. That's a funny I guess. take. <laughs> I don't know what he to say. He should be in Euphoria, and I haven't seen Euphoria. I would love oh, to watch it. Oh, the show with, uh, what's her name in there? What's the, who's I don't it? know any of the characters. Yeah, but they have Zendaya, some... boy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Zendaya? Yeah, yeah, Zendaya? yeah. She's like the main one of the main characters in there. I just know that they have really good music on that shit. So Ken would sound good on Yeet was on it. They should put you it. Remember that? Kill. Yeah, of course. It was a girl they like parked and they opened the door and it, I think it was popping or some shit. Mm. Hey, hey, hey. My man said, To live ahead of everyone, you must truly understand past trends that become lifestyles like the punk culture. It's never ending. That is pretty accurate. I, yes, that's a but good you, way to you'll put probably it. like kill yourself trying to like keep up with shit. 
just just be just wear what you like because yeah. tr- fashion trends come and go bro period yeah it's so interesting um how people really go so hard for that like fashion yeah and it's it, like, it's just not them sometimes you know yeah like we throw our shit on like obviously we want to like w- want it to look good but yeah. we feel good first ah, you know what i'm saying yeah. like that's ours yeah because yo tell me i'm not lying you ever wore a fit just because it was kind of cool but like why am i wearing this shit? yeah duh. like this shit not really me like Come on, man. <laughs> There's been times, yeah, for sure. Like, you, if you're looking at the mirror a little too much, like, you go back, like, nah, let me. Or, like, you ever wore a fit that's, like, mad uncomfortable, but you're trying to be swaggy, trying to be fresh Bro, come on. In high school, bro, I was a size 14, big old foot. Big old foot. And I I, I bought a pair of size 12 Jordan 6s, infrareds, yeah. like a dumbass. <laughs> and I was walking around like this. My yeah, toes, yeah, yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. Yo, I took my shoes off when I got off yeah. when I got out, when I got home, bro. My shit was like bleeding damn near. Yeah, nah. There's a like you know, nudie jeans was hot at one point. So mm-hmm. I bought a I I was working at Hollister, bro. I spent my entire check. It was like two eighty or some shit. On a pair of nudies. Back then, you was making eight thousand hours. It was like nine. <laughs> bro, skinny as hell. I'm talking these are almost like young thug type jeans. You can see a quarter in your Dumb pocket. Dumb skinny, like I'm looking in the mirror like, yeah, this hard. Yeah, this hard. And I dad went to school, but them shits was so tight. It was so hard to take my pants off. Pause, bro. <laughs> Yo, bro. Just to look swag. Yo. Just to have the little logo in the back. I paid 260 just to have that fucking logo, bro. Impressing yeah, who? You can't even put your phone in your pocket. <laughs> Barely, bro. And if you do, the screen going to crack. <laughs> Anyways, my, my man said... We need a summer hit already. Let it happen. Let it happen. What was last year's summer hit? Because I know the year summer before hit? last year was That's Capella Gray. Off the top of my head. It was Capella Gray last year. Nah, that was I'm not two, 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 two <laughs> years ago. Yeah. Last year, I'm trying to remember what it was. Let me put myself back in that last year. Uh, I know... Uh, Drake dropped his... Uh, Honestly, never mind. That came out like June... Word. Honestly, it was a lot of Bad Bunny. I ain't gonna lie to you. Where Bad Bunny r- ran ran summer. 2022 summer. Period. If you, even if you type it in 2022 summer hit, it says Un Verano Sin Ti. It says it right there. You said that mad well for somebody who don't speak Spanish. Oh, I could pronounce it well actually. I could read it well. I just don't know what the fuck I'm saying. It's crazy, right? You just gotta know your vowels, bro. Come on, man. Ya tu sabe que lo que. Puerto Rico. Uh, my man said Playboy Cardi is probably not releasing anything is because of leaks. But not only that, it's because the next fresh sounding music is weighing on his shoulders and he feels the pressure of it. He either conti- he's either going to continue the rage sound, basically a whole lot of red 2.0 or does something completely different. He is probably scared. I ain't gonna lie to you. Not scared, but like nervous. So like, damn, I really want to be a trendsetter. Like, I really want this shit to set the way for the next five years. And, like, he's kind of nervous. What if music changes? Like, he doesn't know. But I think it's indicative on him. You know what I'm saying? Like, people are waiting on him. I think the main reason we have a lull in the underground, if you want to call that, call it what it is, Mm -hmm. um, is because we're waiting on Cardi to set the new trend of what's hot. Like, Rage has been the wave since 2020. Mm Mm-hmm. What's good, what's it gonna be next now, Cardi? Like, let us know so we can hop on it. That's how I feel. These new underground artists, they wait for Cardi, bro. Damn, think so? Yeah. Damn, what if he comes out with some crazy next level shit? That was <laughs> like some folk, like. I mean, <laughs> like yo, Yachty did it with his shit. Imagine Cardi comes. Maybe he's inspired by Yachty shit. Who knows? I don't know. Dun, 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 dun. Imagine comes dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> My man said, I like Father Stretch My Hands, but it's getting to the point where anytime rap accounts ask followers or showcase what's their favorite Metro beat, it always comes down to Father Stretch My Hands. Like, I get it, but there are so many to choose from than just one. Really? People That's be saying that as one? the best Metro beat? I mean, I really got to sit down and think. There's so many that Metro new, beats. The new album, like... I've grown with Metro. I'm not going to hold you. I feel like his new album has a lot of his best beats that have come out recently. Yeah, that um, too many Space nights Space Cadet beat. is hard. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, that too many nights beat I like a lot. That uh, how it goes. Dun, 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 dun. Mm, yeah. Dun, dun. Even the Keep one with Future, uh, 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 I'm tweaking, I'm geeking. That song. Oh, that, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That beat is crazy. Even Metro Spies like. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, hell yeah. Nah, that's too many. Way too many. Metro. I think Metro at this point has outdone himself. Like over the years, like, and this is a second like he's part. He's got of, new shit. And this is the second album of a trilogy. You know that, right? Yeah. When you buy the CD oh, or the vinyl, okay. it says it. The first one was the fir- first one, whatever right. it's called, Space Cadet. What was this called? Not all heroes wear capes. Now it's heroes and villains, and then the, there's a trilogy that's gonna happen. It's pretty hard, huh? Shout out Metro. My man said, when people say they want an artist to go back to their old sound, they don't really miss the music; they just miss the nostalgia. Holy shit, that's a crazy take. Hold on. It's nearly impossible for an artist to do so because they're getting older and probably want to evolve their sound and not stay in one direction for years. It's equivalent to eating the same food every day. It's going to get tiring at some point. Mm. They want my old shit. Buy my old album. Jay-Z said it on on to the next one. All right? A lot of rappers do that. They, they, they you know stick to the same sound mainly because that's what people got into them for. It's like damn if you do, damn if you don't. I always say that shit. Yeah, the rapper s- makes new shit. Oh, we miss your old shit. People, every artist goes through that though. Yeah. Even like Summers, who recently you may think his music is whatever. Like majority of people aren't really fucking with the newer music. They're saying, oh, we want that old Summers. Like everybody goes through it. And Summers only been out hot for like two years, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. Every artist goes through that, bro. It's tough. It's tough. That, that's probably the toughest thing for an artist, in my opinion, that yeah. they go through. Yeah. Damn, like, do I, should I continue to make, like... Like, know. our favorite song by Jaleel is Go, right? Uncivilized. Yeah. He just dropped a whole album. He's dropped a lot of music since then. And if we were those types of just let nostalgia hold us back, we wouldn't be able to be open mm. to the new music. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, that's true. I feel like, as fans, like... When we support somebody, we really got to support them. Like, stop being fake with it. Uh, mm. Or fickle, I would say. But I guess we would do the same thing, though, if he made a whole project that we didn't like. We'd be like, yo, we kind of want that old shit, bro. You know? Kind of how trippy is right now with the glow beats. Like, I feel like one or yeah, two are Yeah, but his next decent. project's not even going to sound like that, though. Yeah, love letter he, to that's you. if he comes out with that love letter to you shit. He will. He's but been teasing I'm, it. Shit, he's been teasing it for a while, but I, I'm I say that to say like the glow beats for me on him, not that good. <laughs> My man Amir, shout out to Amir. An album should be listened to in order of the track listing, but it doesn't have to be listened to all in one sitting. I know this Boricua graphic designer. <laughs> he's talking about me from New York, who has a hard time leaving an album and coming back to it. I believe if you need a breather from an album, then you should take one. I'm sure rappers themselves don't make an album with the intention of you got to listen to the whole thing at once. Some rappers do do that, that they want you to do that yeah, first do. listen, at least. First right. listen, you know, because a lot of times it's cohesive. A lot of times there's transitions. A lot of times there's a story behind. Like, damn, bro, I'll never forget the day. I was on my way to my ex's crib. It was like an hour and 20 minute train ride. I bumped the entire album, damn, from beginning to end. That shit was an experience, bro. Yeah, yeah. And you know you you can listen to it from the end to the beginning, yep, too. Yep, that was crazy. Yep, the collector's editions backwards. But, yeah, you, you're definitely right. There's certain albums that you have to, you know, go chronologically because yes. just the, the transitions and whatnot, yep. like Yachty's the album. of it. Yachty's yep. newest album, Let's Start Here. Yep. You're, if you it's start midway, way. you're, you're going to be confused because there's, like, Certain sounds that start at a, at the beginning of a song, yeah, because the the song before it had something to do with yeah. it. But it definitely depends on the artist. If it's an artist like a Nav, or somebody like a Destroy Lonely, like you could just pe- pick Shuffle. It doesn't matter. Especially <laughs> doesn't matter. with Lone's last album. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Even Ye, like there's a certain artist that you know that there's no reason to listen to the beginning to. Speaking of Lone. The ten songs or the eight songs that I was fucking with is now shortened to like three. <laughs> no cap, no like a good maybe four. Yeah, some of the songs are just not good. Cause I have my I have myself going back to which way, and th- there's another song that sounds just like it one way. Or I which? like dope by the pal. That's my shit. Chris Paul. Nah, I'm talking about by the pal. Oh, by the pal. I like how I feel. If looks could kill, dope by Chris the pal. Chris Paul's cool. 
I don't like Chris Pop, Chris Paul, uh, Chris Paul at all. I think that's just garbage. Uh, and safety. That's really all I listen to. Tbh. Oh, By the way, there's another song. Safety, did you yeah. fart, nigga? Did I fart? Hell no. <laughs> you? <laughs> no, you I don't. Th- <laughs> nah, I would say if I did, I ain't gonna lie. Little bail. Yeah, you got you got fart in the mic. Nah, I definitely stuff. didn't though. My man said, "Just wanna rock" is not a mosh song. Please open that shit so I can hit these hips. <laughs> oh yeah, word, yo, I agree with that. Cause every time you hear the, everybody, oh. everybody's like, yo, let my man cook. <laughs> let they never let at least one person go crazy with the dances. Like that's a dance song. You can't mosh to that shit. That's true, bro. It is actually a clip when I went to see Dro Kenji. When the DJ played that song, there was some dude in the middle going crazy, and we were all like. Hey. I like letting him cook. That's how it should be, bro. It shouldn't be jumping around to that shit. I agree. Good take. They, they ain't that. get. They ain't go through the get light era. Oh hell no! Nah. They don't know about the little mama. They don't know about, don't know about little mama. They don't know about duck sauce. They don't know about you little mama duck with sauce? The, Hell no! Come on, duck sauce. He was in the uh, like from team, the Chinese restaurant. Team Ragers, the guys that used to get light in the city. Oh Arlo. maybe you don't know about the cat daddy though. <laughs> cat daddy. Cat Daddy, that was good era, man. That shit came and went. Audio. Well, was you don't know about push. that crank that I'm SpongeBob. Tweeting. You don't know about that crank that Spider Man, man. J Cole's KOD is his worst album. I can see people defending for your eyes only in the sideline story, but nobody cares to defend KOD. And he kept going, but yeah, I saw a video the other day. Shout out to uh, Fantastic Hip Hop. He had a whole video ranking all of J Cole's albums. He had a he said something very good about KOD. The biggest flaw of that project, which I can't, I can't utter this sentiment enough. He had the whole theme of kids on drugs. That was the whole theme of that. It was supposed to be, but it was executed terribly. You think the, the, so? Yeah, the subject matter doesn't have anything to do with that topic, that that concept of you know trying to be that forefront, the father of trying to help these kids and right. all that. He has maybe one or two tracks. 1990, 1985, Windows Pain, very good song. But a lot of those songs fell flat yeah. for that concept. KOD fell on its face for, for me. For that concept. The album itself may not be good, but when it's under that kids on drugs umbrella, he, he failed to execute that. Big time. Yeah, that album came and went for me. I didn't really care for it. I respect it. I, I like the freestyle that came out before it when he was talking about Kanye and... Mm. That was cool. And then the song, like you said, I think 1985. When he talks about Lil Pump. Right, shit right. Out. <laughs> that was a and good then track. that whole era, they even had a conversation. Yeah, that down. was a great video, man. Yeah, Still man. did dumb shit after that. 2014, Forest Hills Drive is forever going to oh, be yeah, my for shit. for sure. That, that's timeless. I remember KOD, like, just the singing on it by Cole was so... Yeah, I keep looking at that too. Yeah, yeah, just to make sure. Um, the singing on it is just terrible to me. It, and he sings on 2014 Forest Hills Drive and yeah. For Your Eyes Only. He does well on those singing. But on KOD, it sounds like shit. <laughs> it looks like, what the hell, bro? Like, I think he has a song called ATM on there. I think that was like the biggest hit on there. I thought that song was okay. That was like the biggest hit off that, if I'm not mistaken. Meh. But anyways, my man said Kendrick's new album was well behind his previous three in quality. Wow. I completely disagree, fam. The other day I was uh I took a walk, right? Just because I'm like, yo, let me just a nice day outside. Let me just walk. I walk like a whole mile, right? To where Dollar Tree's at by the BQE, whatever. And I bumped that whole album damn near. Like the whole first part. That shit is very good, bro. Like the su- I was reading the lyrics as I'm walking and shit. That shit is deep. It's personal. It's very, very intellectual. Like specifically personal because yes. he made that. He made this album super personal, talking about his auntie, his <sighs> uncle. How could you say it's well behind in quality? It doesn't make any sense to me, bro. I, I would understand if the songs were all like watered down radio type songs, but it's not even near that. Even it's so crazy. even N95, the hit song of that is deep as fuck if you read the lyrics or even listen to what he's saying. Yeah, I think the difference between this that album and Damn, Damn was purposely made for me. Like it felt like the rate, like for the radio. Mm-hmm. Like I'm gonna give you these bars and yeah. whatever I have to say, and then you're and gonna it's gonna be a hit song. With with Mr. Morale, I felt like he just went into this bag. I don't give a fuck about the radio. I don't give mm-hmm. a fuck about what you like. You like 
this is what's going I can't on in my life. Please everybody. He says you know it. What I'm saying? I can't like, please everybody. I'm telling you, bro. But still, there were songs on there that ended up on the radio. Yeah, for know? sure. Rich Spear is one of his best songs, in my opinion. Love that That's song. That's a Kodak. No, no, no. That's a. Uh, Step. Ah, uh, damn. What's that track called? I know Steppers, you're talking no, about. Steppers. But uh, count me out is great. Love that song. There's even Father Time. There's there's a lot of deep cuts on there that you may not go back to all the time, but I, I think to say it's less in quality you. is insane. Uh, I di- completely disagree. Shout out Dan Six though. He got a dope YouTube channel. He was actually part of my Fifty Cent documentary. Shout he got out a little, to you, He got man. a little section. He got a little section in there about Damn. uh power. I was like, yo, you try to edit a part about power? You know That's what why you got all those views. It's because of him. Shout out Dan Six, man. Danny. Yo, my man said we got like three mo. My man said, Yeezus is the most overrated album of Ye's discography. There's five amazing songs and five skip songs. Is I'm it overrated, though? Because it's so decisive with everybody. I heard that Foot Locker at the time when it was out. I heard that shit every day in the Foot Locker thing. It's either you loved it or you hated it. That's one of those projects. There's no in between, bro. I don't know anybody that is like, yeah, Yeezus is all right. It's always like, yo, that shit is his best album. What the fuck is you talking about? And there's people like, yo, that shit is garbage. That's I think the worst the, album. I think the the like sonics of it works well in like theater, bro, like movies and shit. That particular Yeez, that Yeezus album. era was crazy too. Like the tour he was on, that shit was crazy. Bro, I would, I wish I could instant transmission to that time, bro. Bruh. Yeah, Yeezus, the Yeezus cheap, shows bro. with the pyramid. That was the way before Cardi. Remember that at the Barclays? Year, you remember that show? I wish bro. I went to that one. I flaked on going to see Kobe and going to see Kanye that that, that same year, like because I wanted to be. A and cheap. that was Kobe's last great year, bro. 2012, 2013. He, like, he literally damn, willed his team. I was like broke as hell in college, bro. Yeah. Like I was like. I should have did bread. it, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta live life with no regrets, man. Yeah, man. Fuck it. Run outside naked. Who cares, bro? Who gives a shit? You only live once. Yeah. Imagine Jesus you, is cool. Imagine you ran on the field, though. That shit. <laughs> the Yankee game. <laughs> our, man, our man's Derek was missing, like, the first four innings. And I'm just like, yo, imagine we just see him running across. He gets tackled. My man's missed half the game. Where was you? He was online waiting for a hot dog. I'm like, yo, come on, bro. <laughs> he, he sat missed down. Four innings. Yeah, he sat down. <laughs> four. Yo. yo, our friend really was like, yo, I'll be right back. We get some food. <laughs> the boy came back at fourth inning. Yo, game about to be over, kid. <laughs> nah, but yo, my man said, look at that. That's funny. The next day, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers is better than To Pimp a Butterfly. Isn't that crazy? Way better. Isn't that crazy, though? You got two different takes basically next to each other. One thinks it's well behind in quality. The other one thinks it's better than what people think is the greatest the album. The duality of, of reality is fire. That was a ball right there. What the hell? You should be a rapper, cuz. <laughs> I got a podcast. Yeah, it depends, man. It's all the, Listen, it's all about content. Depends how you're feeling that day. I like it better, but somebody might say I'm crazy. But that's the thing well, about Kendrick. Butterfly? Yeah. No, it's st- better than that? No, no, no. I I like Mr. Morale. Mr. Morale, okay. But I'm saying, uh, that's the thing about Kendrick's discography. Like, they're all great. There really is no, you know. On um, Pippa Butterfly, I only really like I, The Black of the Berry. Uh, all right. Um, all right. All right. I, I didn't really like All Right like King that. King Kunta. That's a good Didn't really too. like King Kunta yeah. like that. It was a good vibe for what it There's was. There's another made song for. called Immo- something Immortal. I forgot what it's called. That song's really good. I really, it really spoke to me. Mm. Cause I had friends that battled like alcoholism and Word. shit like that. So and the music video was super yeah, sick. Yeah, that shit is hard. I ain't super lie. sick. Well, like, we got one more. My man said, "Championships" by Meek Mill is high key a top five album in 2018. For sure. So that was a good project. For sure. He had that shit with Anwell. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hit that shit. I did. <laughs> that shit was hard, boy. Yo, that was fire, son. Um, <laughs> it's cool. It was the last album under a label for him. Um, ah, no wonder he's been in my basically. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he had the album in 2021. I went to his show for that album. It was pretty good. Something pain stuff like that. Yeah. But now, Championships was good. I remember the album being pretty popular, man. Actually, that might have been his second to last album on the label. Mm. I might be wrong, but. But still, that was a great, 
great album. A lot of people in Long Island fucked with it for sure. Hold on, we got two more. My bad. If five years destroy lonely will still be around while Ken Carson will have fallen off. Um, it's impossible to predict the future, but it's so crazy how this last album by Lone has jaded how kind of changed the narrative a bit. Yeah, yeah, because I feel in like a negative he was, way in a negative way. But he's sure. saying that he's gonna be around though, and Ken's. I know. Are you just saying? I'm just saying because yeah. I was one of those two saying that. Yeah. But with this last album, man, I think he could bounce back. Sophomore though. slump ain't no ain't no game. Boy. I think he could bounce back though. Oh, for Easily. sure. For sure. Yeah, I think he's still in a good position. It's just crazy how an album, uh, a subpar album, can really like change the perspective. Mm. You know? If he was to come back with a with an album that he bounces back with, how do you think that style should sound like? Would it go back to that no stylist style style. I just need professional mixing, mixing and engineering. Cause <laughs> no more that. Do you, do you think he should continue the nasally s- style? Bio I'm not really whatever. a fan. I don't. I don't care. It's just if the if the vocals are way too in front of the beat, or is the, if the beat's way too in front of the vocals, then then um, it's it's just not gonna sound good. It's just crazy because I was in the car with Payton and Gabby. We went to the smorgasbord. Yeah. And a fucking lone song off the new album was on, and we was like, whatever, right? Mm. I hit next, not really knowing what's coming mm-hmm. up next, and fucking my gang from Lone's last album came on uh-huh. and you could just hear the difference like the isn't that bass the dun, 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 right dun, dun, dun. you could just hear the bass slapping harder yeah. you can it just sounds so much more professional right right you know like, what i think it is bro i, I this is my take i think destroy lonely fell in love with the single it fucks could kill of course. He was like, holy shit, this sound is people fire. Were, I'm going to make an entire snippet, bro. I'm going to make an entire album sounding like this. And he f- he did it. <laughs> and then we- the entire album sounds like if looks could kill but a different version of it, you know? That's the acoustic, very mellow and yeah, it's too much. Which too is much. nothing wrong. I don't I don't think there was anything wrong with putting like a like he there's nothing wrong with putting a different kind of sound on that project. But he wanted every song to sound like that. And 26 of them, bro. That's crazy. Actually, like 30 if you get the vinyl and the CD. <laughs> Word. Sex with Ken Carson. <laughs> Sex with Ken show? Carson. <laughs> Last one. My man said, if Mansion Music by Trippy Red was an EP, it wouldn't have been hated on. Mm, that's a good take. If there was only like maybe wow. nine songs. No, nah, that's facts. I think people would be like, damn, this, this is Trippy's best tape in a minute. Like, this shit hard. Like, if it was just, like, the bangers on there, Nightcrawler and shit like that, the shit with Chief Keef, the shit with Lil B, I Juice, love those songs. The shit with Juice. And Nightcrawler, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. That's, if it was, like, a little seven-song EP, hell yeah, I agree with that. I agree word. with that. 25 songs is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. I don't give a fuck who you are. It could be Drake. And then to two weeks later to not perform a single song at Rolling Loud after you dropped that album was crazy. Last me. last question, though, for you. You ready? How many songs should be, not that you want, but how many songs should be on Utopia? How many How many Damn. do you think is going to be on and how much you want? I mean, should so be we're on. So th- we're talking about over five years. Yeah, but you know uh, Travis Scott's very calculated. Over f- there's a five-year gap, you know, a bunch of music. I would say... Man, no more I than think 20, it's gonna no more be, than 18. Okay. I would like it to be no more than 18, no more than 20. It but better I, not be more. Not, than, it better not be more than 20, bro. It's going to be 25 songs, no, oh my without God. a doubt. Hell no. Bro, five, I hope not, bro. five years Doesn't matter. of recording. Doesn't matter, man. You know he got mad songs he's in love with, bro. But he knows he's, ca- There's only he's so very many calculated like, Yo, with fuck shit, it, You can have it, Nav. You can have it. Right, Little right. baby, fucking, yo, Don Tolliver, give me hair, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's only so much. I'm just looking back at his projects. Nothing was ever more than seventeen. Think about it for yourself, bro. Like, I don't want more than like sixteen, no, seventeen. I'm saying from a artist perspective, like, put yourself in those shoes. You've been recording a good amount of music every day, every week, every month right. for five years straight. Wow. And now you got to drop an album where you got to hold it to 18. That's tough. You got to choose the best of the hundreds of songs. You got to choose the best ones. That's every artist. The fuck? 
not everybody, not every artist is doing five year waits though. It better not be more than twenty. That's all I know, bro. That's gonna ruin it for me. Unless every fucking song is slapping. I don't know, man. But yeah, that was a good episode. We still recording over there, yo, yo. Hopefully. All right, man. This is episode fifty seven. Thank y'all for tuning in every week. Make sure you like, subscribe. That was a good episode, man. Yeah, man. Like and, it up. Uh, Stop playing with it. Yeah. Enjoy your Memorial Day weekend. Word. Shout out to all the veterans out here. Word. Shout out to the people putting in work. Tommy, tell me. Tell me.